Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going on a trail ride. I've travelled to Gloucestershire to hit the trails at the Canop Cycle Centre in the Forest of Dean. The Forest of Dean is home to some amazing cycling and today we're riding the red graded Free Miners Trail. I've ridden the Forest of Dean a handful of times before and I know that the trails are well made and amazing fun. They have some great naturally made features and some interesting man-made ones too. Especially this one which I haven't ridden before and I'm really keen to try today. So let's get riding. From the main fire road you turn into the trees and start your climb. Like most of the trails here at the Canop Cycle Centre they involve a fair bit of climbing and some sharp downhill sections. The Free Miners Trail is no exception to this. In total the Free Miners route is about 4.5 to 5 kilometres long. There is an extension route that you can do but I'll go through that a little later. The Free Miners Trail is designed, built and maintained by the Dean Trail Volunteers and the Forestry Commission. It's known to be a challenging and varied single track trail that offers something for most riders, from tricky switchbacks and climbs to rooty drops and hairpin bends. In my opinion, one of the trickiest things about the whole trail are the routes. It's hard to see them on camera, but especially in this first part, the lattice of bumpy routes on the ascent makes what would be an easy climb into much more of a challenge. The initial part of the trail makes its way up the side of the valley. This is the biggest climb on the trail by far, but it does a pretty good job of winding through the terrain, which makes the uphill a bit more enjoyable. Although the first third of this trail is mostly spent climbing, the trail builders have added some fun challenging features along the way to make the route a bit more interesting. Although a lot of fun, these rocky sections and wooden jumps are just warm up features. In the early part of the trail, you get your first taste of downhill with one of the most enjoyable features that you encounter. This is a set of large tabletop jumps. Once you've cleared the jumps, you continue your way up the hill. When you make it to the top, your reward is the start of the downhill sections. This is a winding section of single track which starts with a nifty little rock roll. Oh, nice and flowy there. A few ruts and rocks. A little jump. Oh, it's nice to be going downhill after that climb. Little hop. Large parts of the Free Miners Trail have been left natural, which gives the trail a nice outdoor feel. However, in the winter, parts of the trail can get pretty slippery, like those roots I was telling you about. I've ridden the extension loop in the winter and it was a killer. The descents were a slop fest, the corners were pure slippery mud, and the rooty uphills were like riding on ice. Conditions today, on the other hand, are the opposite. It's hot and it's really dry. This definitely makes the routes easier to manage, but the corners are slightly loose. But all in all, this is great fun to ride. To get an idea of how bumpy the trail is, take a look at how much the camera is shaking. I filmed this using my GoPro Hero 8 with the Hypersmooth turned on. It won't help that I'm riding my hardtail today, which regular subscribers to the channel will be well acquainted with, but to tackle these routes and rocks, it only has 130mm of front end travel and 0mm of rear end travel. So, on these faster rooty sections, the bike is a proverbial bone shaker. This doesn't stop the trail being amazing fun, it just means you need to be on the ball when making line choices. And perhaps hold on a little tighter. And it isn't over yet. 
Still carrying your speed from the descent, you come to the end of the first downhill section. This is a mass of dips and roots. Despite being on my hardtail, the big 29 inch wheels were a huge help in making it over the uneven ground. But in the wet, I can imagine this is a different story. Oh, oh the pump from that. Roots in a hardtail, Christ. That was so rooty, my feet came off the pedal so many times. That was insane. Licking my proverbial wounds, I made my way up the climb to the next descent. Here we go. This section is a little more mellow than the last one, but it has a nice healthy sprinkling of berms and flowing trail. More roots. Although there's nothing very technical about this section, I was quite glad to be cruising down this one. It was actually a nice break between the uphill climbs and the last bone-shaking descent. Once over the fire road at the bottom, you come across a really fun little area with a number of man-made features to play on. This one in particular, I was eager to try. I've never ridden a skinny like this before, so here it goes. As well as this fun skinny, there are also a set of progressive wooden drops that lead you back along the trail. Once you make your way down to the end of the wooden features, you have the option of continuing the free miners or taking the extension trail. The extension trail joins the big climb up the Blue Verderous Trail and then takes a sharp right down through the forest over some more flowing features. The extension adds on another 5k to the trail before joining back onto the end of the original free miners route. With it being so hot today, I decided not to take the extension and to continue on the original trail. The remainder of the trail is slightly undulating with no big climbs or descents to speak of. The designers have done a great job to keep this section fun by using the terrain and adding interesting features throughout. Things like berms, rock gardens and wooden features can be found all over the rest of this trail. Not only do these features add a bit of spice to the ride, they also help keep the section within the red technical grade. In terms of its physicality, this route requires a lot of steep climbing, so you need a good level of fitness, especially if you take the extension route. The same can be said for technical competence, because not all the features can be bypassed easily. Right, North Shore. The last few parts of the free miners take you in this close woodland where you find yourself weaving through the trees on some pretty uneven ground. I really enjoy this section because you get the chance to move quickly through the trees by pumping and weaving your bike. It's a really good training ground for a technical style of riding that you only tend to find on natural trails. On surface trails, a lot of the awkward bumps tend to get smoothed out. But it's great for teaching you the importance of body position and spatial awareness. You're moving your bike around a tight space whilst also focusing on the uneven ground. The final stretch back to the car park is pretty well used but contains a couple of fun challenges along the way. On my YouTube channel, we've now ridden the blue and the red trails here at the Forest of Dean, but there's so much more to explore. I'm currently waiting on my new bike to be finalised, and then we can go and explore some of the more involved trails that the Canop Cycle Centre has to offer. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a like. If you want to see more from the channel, hit the subscribe button. But until next week, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.